Hi, it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is always remain safe. Here's the situation. I had a private home wedding with about 400 guests. And you all probably know that when you have a private home wedding, there's no rules, usually. There's no end time because they want to go to the wee hours of the morning. And so the vendors were going to come back. Uh, on Monday, I think, so they could party all day on Sunday if they wanted to as well. So I kind of prepare for these things and I prepare for pe people to drink a lot and sometimes drink too much and they pass out all over, all over the house. It's nothing that I haven't seen before. But at this wedding, it was a little bit different. So it was about 2.30, pushing 3 a.m. in the morning. The guests had been there since about 5 p.m. We had transportation to keep everybody really safe. Let me just say that. But one of the guests had a little bit too much to drink, and he got mad that he had to wait for a drink in, in a small line. And so he got into a little bit of an altercation with the groom's brother, and instead of hitting the groom's brother, there actually was a huge lighting truss standing right next to him because we had truss all over the backyard because this client wanted string lights hanging all throughout her yard and it wasn't safe to rig them between the trees. So we had truss. And so he got angry and threw a tantrum and pushed over a lighting truss. I don't even know how he did that, but he did. Thank God no one was standing there when it went down and hit the ground because I would have been calling 911. So instead, of having to call 911, I politely asked the two security guards there to escort him out. Let's not make a scene, but of course he made a scene. And he was very angry and very just all over the place, calling me all kinds of names. And I'm trying to be very patient and calm and just walking him out to get him into a car to get him off the property and take him home because he, he already had his fun. And so finally I got him in the car, got one of the drivers to take him back to his hotel. And I thought I was done. Oh boy, was I wrong. So the next morning, when I was still at the client's house, there all night, cleaning up, getting things <laughs> at least halfway ready for a brunch, I started to get text messages. And, and, and it was a mugshot of this person and he had gone to jail. And so I looked further into it. And when he went back to the hotel, he was still way too intoxicated to be left alone, obviously. And he pulled the fire alarm at this hotel and so he was arrested and he went to jail and so guess who he blamed this whole thing on the wedding planner the wedding planner that kicked him out and so when i had to answer to the bride and groom after the party and after everybody sobered up everything was cleaned up i was like we'll talk about this later when when everybody's good to go um, i told them you know for, for the safety for you guys your home your guest i did ask him to leave i had him escorted off the property and i wouldn't change any of that However, looking back, I should have asked the driver, or at least had one of my staff go with him and tuck him quietly into bed, and maybe he would have gotten to his room okay. I still am not gonna take responsibility for him pulling the fire alarm and going to jail, but again, maybe I could have avoided it if I'd thought through just a little bit further. So when you have a private home wedding, make sure you have extra staff on hand to handle the guests that sometimes can get out of hand. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.